this is a demonstration between the project system and QuickBooks accounting system accounts payable interface. Contact DoveNet Technology for pricing and other accounting systems that have been interfaced in this manner. The purpose of this interface is to reduce the entry, double entry needs between project and QuickBooks and the accounting system. The I idea here is that we do an entry, we pay a voucher in project system, and it appears in accounts payable entry in the accounting system. So I'm going to demonstrate these features, and I'll go to the QuickBooks AP interface. And from here, I have several options. One, to create the voucher. Two, we can import the GL list from QuickBooks, which is simply going in, into QuickBooks and exporting the GL list. We can then edit the list or create our own list, a small list, if we don't want to import the full list. We can create the accounts payable pay list, and then we can actually export the vouchers to QuickBooks. When we click on the Create Voucher screen, we have several options. The first one is we can simply pay a purchase order. We can pay a miscellaneous cost against a job, or we can do multiple distributions like as we were paying through a credit card. Let me demonstrate the interface to a pay PO. We would then enter our pay purchase order that we're going to pay. And you see here on this purchase order, we've actually paid a couple items. And we've re the system will come let us pay what we've received already. So we click on this. We hit the Pay button. And here we can pay a single item, or we can pay all the items. I'm just going to do a single item for this example. And we hit Exit. Create Pay Voucher, yes. And from here, then we come to our Pay Voucher screen, where we can select our GL account we want to hit for this posting, what accounts payable account we're going to pay out of, what terms we're going to pay on this invoice, and you can set the terms up in the setup screen of project. And if you set the terms up here and select appropriate terms, the system will let you take a discount in QuickBooks. Then we can go and enter the invoice number. And uh, if we have a freight charge, we can add that right now. Select our freight account. So our pay amount will be 125 when we go into QuickBooks. At the end of all this entry, we hit Start, and the system has stored this QuickBooks, this pay voucher for QuickBooks. If we want to pay a, a miscellaneous cost to our job cost module, we click over here, and then we go ahead and our job cost number. And then from here, we can choose which we're gonna, what we're going to pay, enter our pay amount, who's the vendor this is going to be paid to. Again, we're back to the pay voucher screen where we would enter the invoice number. And uh, appropriate, has set our GL accounts. Again, hit start again, and the system creates the pay voucher. If we want to do the interface for credit cards, we click over here. And again, we can pay off purchase orders, just like we did before. And I go ahead and pay this next item, hit pay, single pay, continue, exit, stores it for uh, store, uh, distribution of units. We click on the next, we put our project number in. We're going to pay off, select our, uh, maybe this is a miscellaneous charge, it's not on the list. And we'll say that this is uh, travel. And we go ahead and hit the amount, 500 hours, hit post. And what account this is supposed to hit, and that would be a cost of good account. So we'll come down here to um, travel and materials, hit post, and now that's stored. We want to do a manual posting. The idea behind this is maybe we're going to do uh, printer ink. And it's a $29 charge. Click over there. 
That would be down in the office expense section, which of course would not be something related to project, but it might be a GL where I want to capture it. Hit post. When we're done with our multiple entries, we click over here, done posting. And this we would find our credit card. Click over there, credit card. And uh, we don't care about this particular GL, although it's required field. Uh, but we do care about which credit card we're going to select. So we can select the appropriate credit card. And then um, we don't need the invoice number in this particular case. Um, we can then hit start. And then it stores it for posting to QuickBooks. So at the end of the day, or whenever we're done with all our postings, we want to go ahead and create the actual vouchers to go into QuickBooks. We come down here to create export. And we hit start, continue. And the system goes ahead and creates our pay voucher file. We would then go to QuickBooks and bring up our pay voucher file and import it. So we go to import, IIF, click on our pay voucher file, hit start, and it brings it in. From here, of course, then we go to our vendor screen, click on um, pay vouchers, and then our vouchers would be sitting there, and they would follow all the rules, including the discount dates and all that kind of good stuff, as if we had entered those invoices in through the QuickBooks screen system itself. Again, the whole purpose of this is to minimize the data entry between project system and QuickBooks. So we basically have created a single point of entry to get to the accounts payable side. Again, contact DevNet Technologies for uh, purchasing this particular module and also other module, other accounting systems that this has been interfaced to.